turning on the AC. That's what happens when your parents are old. And then when it rains a lot, you get mold and, and mildew and ugh, no thank you. Give me the dry heat any day. Give me Alaska. That's what I that's what I need. So we're gonna happy gel in crystal in uh, eternal bathing, sorry. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'd be so happy. I would I would be living for the Alaska fantasy. I wonder if it gets humid there though, because they have like a lot of like ponds and it's all coastal. Have you been to Alaska? No? You've never made a movie there? Claudia Aguilar Wild in Alaska. I think a, I think Alaska is a state with the um the most borders or something like that. Because it borders um, it borders Canada and it borders Russia. So here I have monomer mixed with glide. No, New Zealand has different promos and sales, so I would go ahead and message Inoka Tour New Zealand and ask them what they got going on down there. And kia ora to everybody in New Zealand. How long has it been since you've been to New Zealand, Cloud? Really, when you were shooting Avatar? Yeah, Alaska gets in cold humidity, sort of like San Francisco. Woo, sign me up. <laughs> Barbara Mosley told me that she was in San Francisco in July and she had to put on a fur coat and I was like, where has some, well, I couldn't live in San Francisco. Too many crackheads. You know, now that I think of it, I was in Seattle mm -hmm. in July. And cold? Especially like in the evening, you need like a like a coat or a hoodie or something like that. Yeah. Well, like the the transient population in San Francisco is really bad, and I heard their gas is like ten bucks a gallon. 9.44. The two most expensive, expensive places for gasoline in the country is um, DC um, and San Francisco. Um, I don't know, but I'll tell you one thing. I think electric cars are like really overrated, and I think the technology is really not there yet. Because it only goes, what, 200 miles before you got to, like, recharge it or something? It's expensive. Like, like but, uh... This is actually Happy Gel, which is a hybrid product. It's like a poly-type gel. You want to put that in there? Diamond No, but we do have a heavy metal neon. Happy Gel in Eternal Beige. Oh, that's the rolling key. So that will we squeeze out every single drop. And right now we're gonna squeeze out a little bit more for the pinky. What's for dinner, Cloud? Pasteroni. Do you like you some Pasteroni? You don't know what Pasteroni is? I know, so many random useless things. Do you like hot dish? 
Oh my gosh, can somebody explain to her what a hot dish is, please? It's perfect for moms on the go, busy women. KY progressions. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> oh, it was actually meant for her too. So can someone explain to Claudia what hot dish is, please? Um, because I had monomer in the dish already, and I wanted it to smell more like bubble gum, so I just put a little squirt of glide in there. You can put it in now, one minute. Hot dish? Maybe. Because nobody's said anything about hot dish. We don't have anybody from the um, Midwest. What? I know you put them on, but I think you should do that. The sequence? Jeez, Claudia, where have you been? Busy twerking upside down by the cakes. I wonder what happened to her. What am I having for dinner? Huh? Lordy Lord. What am I having for dinner? I don't know. Maybe. Are you saying hot fish? No, hot dish. Turn it upside down and go ahead and bake that for me for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Hot dish is like um, from like South Dakota and maybe Wisconsin, I think. Um, it's like a casserole. But that's what they call it, they call it a hot dish, don't you know? <laughs> so like, tater tots, chicken fingers, cream of mushroom soup, and you throw it in the oven and... Yeah, and call it a day. Frozen peas maybe, if you're feeling a little healthy. Really? They're like, no, put some, like, for holes in here or something. Yeah, actually, they want No? Do you not cook because, um, your fiance, he's really picky about what he eats, or just because you don't like cooking? Really? So what do you guys eat? Do you guys eat out a lot, or do you like a lot of frozen meals? Because you have to, not because you want to. Well, it sounds like maybe like Chinese food. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can make one with like something that your kids would like. Maybe with like hamburger helper, like the Mexican kind. They have like a taco one. Tamale pie. Aztec pie. Ah, uh, that's just a bunch of tortilla and cheese. <laughs> no casseroles, you can do whatever you want. You can do like macaronis and hamburger meat and frozen vegetables. Throw it all together in a dish and... Bon Appetit. Beggars can't be choosers if they complain. You know what has been a lifesaver for me? Mm. Air really? Yeah. Aren't they going to say Stouffer's? No. Yes, of course. Oh, that's super popular. Super, super popular. The flash gels. Who is the home cook in the comments? Oh, lordy lord. Who is the what? The home cook in the comments.
let's go ahead and do that just a few more seconds. Let's go. Mm -mm. No problem. How would you dance this kind of music, Lavin? How would you dance this kind of music? Fist pumping. The girl that would tell me that Jersey Shore is still on television. Wow, that's pretty gnarly. I can't believe that show's been on TV for like a hundred thousand years. They must be like super old. Yeah, and like what do they do on the show? Like what haven't they done? Aren't they like 50? Mike, the situation. I heard Ronnie's not on there anymore because he's a woman beater. So we are using the first bed to go up and around the cuticle. Let us know in the comments below if you watch Jersey Shore. No, I couldn't get into it. I just knew they would go, t-shirt time, t-shirt time. And they would wear their t-shirts and they would go out. And Polly was really tan, like basketball colored tan. But they were really popular. I did like to watch the real world every once in a while. I think I saw the real world New Orleans, and which other one did I see? I want to say Chicago. Really? She was a stan. The real world Las Vegas too, I remember that girl, I think her name was Trish. And she would always fight with everybody. It was reality TV before reality TV. Like La Casa de los Famosos, do you watch that one? With Laura Bozo? No, do you know who Laura Bozo is? The Peruvian Oprah. And she's like 75 or something like that and she's on that show. Jersey Shore music. Does Jersey is anybody watching that like is from that area of the country? Is the clubbing like really that good or what's so famous about it? Like let us know in the comments below. Thank you. This is Eternal Beige Happy Gel. She is Pandora. That's how we roll. Couldn't agree more. I did used to like to watch MTV True Life because they would have some really interesting stuff on there. MTV's documentary series, Donkey Series. MTV True Life, did you ever see that? No. no. What about Catfish? No. no, you never saw the Catfish shows? Are these like older shows? Mm hmm. Like, uh, Television? Oh. So you would stay home and watch The View and The Price is Right? Really? I heard they're remaking it. I wonder if we're gonna be on the new version of it. Really? With Wilmer Valderrama and Ashton Kutcher. That's where he started, right? 
She's Ukrainian or Russian, I think. She was 14. Really? How old was she on the show? So she like falsified all these documents to get on there? That's wild. Right now it is at 22,000 RPM. I never liked it actually. Really? Mm -hmm. I still love the dad a lot. <laughs> really? I know the mom's hair was a wig too. It's just so beautiful. It's so flattering on every skin tone as well too. It's just like, it's a go-to, you know what I mean? It's like a little black dress. You just can't go wrong with it. A little black dress for nails. Oh, someone said, Yep, that's what I heard about. Me Mila is her name. Mila! So cool. Mila Coolis. Coolness. Something like that. Yeah. Did you ever meet her? A lot older, just a little bit. Meant to be. Yeah. I wonder how the relationship was with them. To me, more like him and to me, because she's so much older than him, and like she's like a very mature, very like seductress kind of woman, and he always just comes across as like a piece of furniture. He's a piece of furniture. I learned that term in Australia too. Thank you, love. Where are you going, round face? Why? I got you like 12 bombs! Huh? You make it work, round face. We're fumigating and he wants more and more. You make it work with your little round powers. Oh, they said hi, round face. He said hello, Antonia. Come over here and say hello, Antonia. The fantasy. And Come on, round face. I think he left already. He's going to uh, Cancun next week. He's going to spend 4th of July there. Um, his mom's head of the family. Round face? He was round teen. When he was little. Round face is like maybe 15, 16, 17, somewhere around there. I'm going to go to Thailand next month. I want to. Nobody wants to go with me, though. You want to go with me? I want to go get my nose done. Thailand? I thought it was London. No, my own. Oh. She wants to go to Thailand? Really? Why? She want a nose job, too? Does she want a nose job, too? No. Oh. There's a lot of culture. In such a small country, there's so much to do and see. 
It's just really hot. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. My brother's here too. Say hi to my brother, everybody. Seeing your round face. <laughs> Seeing your round face. No, his mom's side of the family. Those, they have serious round face. So this is the purple from Neon Donuts. So what's the best knife to go inside? Like, no. The and their their winter is like very like rainy. It's the rainy season, I think. So it's like no. And it's jungle, right? The whole country is pretty much a giant jungle, so it's gonna rain all the time. I've been there, I think in February or in January, I can't remember, and I've been there in June. And February was okay, it, but it, I mean, I remember going to the mall and seeing them sell sweaters, and I was like, who wears a sweater in this country? But it was very normal to see people like dressed kind of like scantily, like girls in like tube tops or like bathing suits, not bathing suits, but like really like open kind of stuff, or guys with like their shirts like open way low, because it's so hot. And Japan is really hot and humid too. Really hot and humid. I remember like being in Japan and seeing like the clouds of humidity. That's how humid it was. Like it was no joke. And these ladies would go around with like towel, like, like and older guys too, like towel, and they wipe their face on because it was so hot and humid. I could not imagine wearing like a, like a suit because there's a lot of men that wear suits in Japan, like salary men they call them. They all wear suits. Like I, my suit would be wet all the time. And girls, a lot of powder. Like you go to the, any convenience store, any makeup store, it's just powder everywhere. They love their powder. But the problem is that when you do a lot of powder, you have to reapply all the time. I don't like that. Because then like, you know, you look good for like a few hours maybe, and then after you're like, ooh, never mind. It changes color actually, this color. So the hotter it is, the lighter it is, the colder it is, the darker. I think. So this is from Neon Donuts. This is 221. You can buy it here! And a lot of it, people are like, oh, it's made in Japan, it's better quality. It's really not. You can go, um, I think in Florida, they probably have Daiso, which is like a Japanese dollar store that has like a lot of those little knickknacks and things like that. Or you can go online too. Thanks to globalization, the world is a smaller place now. Now we're going to do a ultra thin coat of Wonder Doll. Do you want the stickers on the same fingers on this hand or on different? The same? You don't want to mix it up a little bit? So where do you want it? Then? No. <laughs> Why did you ask me for Don't this? tease me like that. Stop playing with my emotions. Daiso. D-A-I-S-O. Daiso. It's an optical illusion because they're more pointy now. Should we do this hand? If 
how cute that is. That's what makes it cool. Do you have any plans for 4th of July? No? Nothing? Do you like to barbecue or anything cool like that or no? Not really. It's too hot. Go to Mount Lemon. Are they going to do fireworks this year? They haven't really said anything, huh? So Remember you guys, stickers always look best under two coats of gel. This is Dom Tom. This is our tick. Send my heart to a pop go. Ya te vas a abrir. Bueno, no es mucho party. Nos vemos el jueves. Jueves. I really want to go to a concert. I haven't gone to a concert in forever. There were some Korean singers that came to the Yanks too. Korean boy band, but I didn't go. Yeah, but I'm not gonna pay how much for the ticket. They're not splitting, they're like taking a sabbatical, aren't they? Um I have no comment. No comment from the peanut gallery. Carly Ray, Carly Ray Jemson, her tickets are buy one get one free. <laughs> Does Carl's love party? Crash some of those oh. My friend Marisol, her son is getting married. I'm going to that wedding. That'll be fun. Yeah, you want to go with me? Uh huh. I don't know. That's a good question. I did RSVP yesterday. You just did it? Yeah, the wedding's in August or July, oh, I can't remember. Okay. So that'll be fun. I haven't been to a wedding in a long time. My cousins hate me because I didn't go to any of their weddings, but I was like, eh, they're in another country. They're too we far away. To didn't you guys have like a big family reunion? Mm hmm. What was that? I'm sorry. Oh, that's Miss Prisma. She's no joke. And then we're gonna do a coat of Wonder Gel again over all the nails. Cause remember, you guys, stickers always look best with two coats of gel. Dun, 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 dun. I need to go get a massage. Do you like massages, Claudia? What kind of massages do you like? Really? Mm -hmm. Like hot stone and whatnot? Mm -hmm. I like Thai massages. My Thai? I know the name sounds funny too. <laughs> yeah, do you know where the Trader Joe's is? I want to say on Wilma. Oh, okay. On the second story. Mm-hmm. Yes. See, so look, you know what's up. I went to that Bookman's and I saw a lady shoplifting there. Yeah, and like they were walking out behind her and they were like, Miss, you need to return what you got. And she just kept on walking. Isn't that horrible now? Oh, my, everything's behind bar now at Walgreens. Deal. Yeah, Claudia can't have anything too too crazy because she doesn't love her own stunts when she's filming. So turn the hand upside down, let it self level out.
mine. I put, I was supposed to go yesterday, tomorrow, to go see the doctor, but um, I postponed it again because it was at two o'clock, and I was like, I'm not gonna go out in the middle of the two o'clock in Arizona. Let's see. Yes, let's bake up for one minute. But I mean, I have to be really realistic with what, like, with what the surgery was. Like, I'm not gonna come out of the surgery looking like, you know, what's his name? The guy that plays Captain America? Chris Evans. I'm not gonna get out of surgery and have a stomach or a body like Chris Evans. So as long as my stomach is flat when I sit down, you know, I can't complain. You know, they three tummy tucks is a lot, and um, as long as I sit down and there's nothing hanging. I can't complain. And it's not like anybody sees it anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I have a sexy body or anything like that. If I did, I'd be live streaming shirtless on OnlyFans. To let the uh, gel self level out so that way it has a nice, smooth surface structure. So after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're gonna wait 10 seconds and then we're gonna apply the cotton candy cuticle oil. And they look so cute, these nails are giving me very Harajuku K-pop girl vibes. Samuluchi. Adorbs. Did we reach 100 views? No? Maybe tomorrow then. What do you guys think? Are they adorbs or what? Well, my loves, that's going to wrap up our little demo today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and what can I say? I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting American companies and American manufacturing.